Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I have another very exciting video for you and it is going to be my review on the Parfums de Mali women's fragrances. Now I've already done Inicio, which is their sister brand. So if you guys have missed that, I will link it at the top. So I have done Inicio, those two are sister brands. Um, just as a little start, I would say that, you know, if Inicio was like if they're sisters, to me, Inicio is kind of, you know, like the sister that's, you know, always out, always partying, like super loud, super outgoing. And then Parfum Zamali, which we are going to be re reviewing today, is the more like sophisticated, a little bit elegant, a little bit, you know, like quieter um, sister. So yeah, this is kind of like my initial thoughts on, you know, those two being sisters. But with that being said, I think we should go and look at Parfums de Mali, so our elegant sister today. Now, if you guys like these kinds of videos, if you like perfume videos, if you like this video in particular, it would mean the world to me if you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate that. Also, leave me a comment on, you know, the fragrances, what you thought about it, anything. I'm super, super grateful for that. And now, without further ado, let's get started with my review of Parfums de Mali. So once again, at the beginning of the video, I just want to give you my absolute two favorites that I found from the six that I have tried. And I think they're going to be surprising to you, but my absolute favorites from the ones that I've tried have been Meliora and Safanat. Now, we are going to be starting out with Delina, which is the most favorite perfume from the brand. It was the first perfume that I ever heard about from Parfums de Mali. And Delina is a very, very elegant rose. So it is a true rose um, fragrance. And then it also has rhubarb in it, which gives it a little bit of like a sourness. So it's not, you know, just like, you know, you're smelling rose oil, but there is a little bit of like sourness from the rhubarb. And what I found interesting is Delina has a vanilla note, I think at the base, and I get this vanilla note almost immediately. So it's a very nicely rounded fragrance. You know, you have the rose, you have the bit of sourness from the rhubarb, and then you have the vanilla. So I do see why people that love rose would really, really, really enjoy Delina. Um, I personally really like the Ruark note as well. Um, it doesn't turn, you know, like weird or, or crazy on my skin. Um, it's just like the perfect, perfect balance for me. Now, what I will say though, I think that is a thing really for my skin from what I've heard because most people, you know, this projects a lot and lasts super, super long um, on my skin. I have found that it like doesn't project a ton. So of course people around you can smell it, but I found it like to be a little bit closer to my skin than I would have imagined, like given that everyone else seems to have experiences where this really, really projects. Um, yeah, so for me, it's a little bit closer to the skin. Um, it lasts quite well, I would say, like six hours maybe. Now it is not my absolute favorite, but it's definitely a good fragrance. If you're a rose lover, then I think Delina is definitely worth checking out for you. Now the second fragrance that we'll be going over is Athalia, and Athalia is this very, very powdery. Now the second fragrance we're going to be talking about is Athalia, and Athalia is interesting because when I first sprayed it, um, I thought that this is, you know, quite powdery, has a little bit of iris in it. But as I was looking up the notes afterwards, I realized that there's zero iris, um, but there is incense and cashmere. And I think that's where I get this like powdery vibe of this from. Now, Athalia for me, I really, really found that it like projects around me. So like people that are in my vicinity would definitely smell me. And... Um, this has orange blossom in it and I think bitter orange. So now that I know it, I smell it. But my initial thing was kind of like, oh wow, this is powdery iris, which I thought was really, really interesting. I have to say about Athalia, I think if you are into like the incense gives it a very, very interesting quality to it. And if you are into those kinds of scents, if you love bitter orange, if you love orange blossom, um, then this one would be a good one. I have to say, for me personally, I think it is just the tiniest bit too mature, almost. 
Um, I find this to be a really mature fragrance, as I mentioned in the beginning. Overall, performance in Mali, super sophisticated, super elegant, super mature. Um, for this particular one, I think maybe a tiny bit too mature for me personally. But it is a really, really good fragrance. And as I said, it completely threw me off that this has not, this does not have iris. Because when I smelled it first, I was like, okay, this is an iris fragrance. Um, but yeah, this one rounds out very well as well. Because it has like vanilla and musk in the base notes. So it gives it like, you know, this very round, very, um, you know, non-edgy at all. Like very sophisticated, rounded out experience with that fragrance. So... Yeah, if you are a fan of that, definitely, definitely go check out Athalia. And if you have tried it, let me know if you also thought that this is a very mature scent. Now, moving on to Darcy. Darcy is another rose-based fragrance, or it's based around, I think, rose and jasmine. When I first sprayed this immediately, I got like, okay, rose and patchouli. Now, it is not like a typical rose patchouli fragrance, I think... You know, it doesn't really compare to something like Lady Vengeance from Juliet Has a Gun. I think that one is really like intense rose and intense patchouli, but that's all that it's based around. This one has rose, patchouli, jasmine, and also some other notes. I think there's like some citric, like bergamot notes at the top. So this one is not like your typically like rose patchouli, like bomb. And I think over time the rose kind of steps a bit backwards in this one and you get more of like the jasmine and the patchouli. Now, knowing me, you guys might know that I'm not the biggest, biggest fan of patchouli. Nevertheless, I found Darcy to be very enjoyable. I thought that the patchouli in this one is not very earthy. Like, it doesn't get this kind of, like, dirty vibe to it, which I really, really enjoyed. Because that's the kind of patchouli that I really don't like, if it gets this super earthy and dirty vibe. Um, this one didn't do that. It actually had a very, like, soft wear in general. Like... You know, it's not, I wouldn't necessarily categorize this as an event fragrance, as I often think, like, rose patchouli fragrances can be. But because this is, like, so well blended with the jasmine and the bergamot, um, I found this to be a little bit softer wearing, also in terms of, like, projection. But nevertheless, I really enjoyed that. The dry down of this one is very, very sweet. So the dry down of this is also more sweet and powdery, which I think, again, makes it a different wearing experience than you if you have something like a, you know, super strong rose patchouli scent. Um, so yeah, that is it for Darcy. I, I think I also already mentioned it was a bit on the softer side in terms of wear and projection. And... This one, I think after like seven hours, I was not able to smell it on my skin anymore. But overall, if you are into patchouli fragrances, I think this one would be great because there's so much going on around it that it's really an experience um, for patchouli that I think would be really, really lovely for you. Now, I have almost saved the best for last, but we have three more fragrances to go. But now we're going to be going into one of my top two. And this one is Meliora. Now, Meliora is this fruity, yeah, just fruity rose. There's not even, like, sweetness in the beginning. It's just a very, very fruity rose. I think it is very playful, very, very nice. Definitely, like, not as mature or as sophisticated as some of the others, which I thought was really, really welcoming. I've loved this kind of scent, and... Um, it definitely, like, I get a very, very strong raspberry vibe. I know that there's some other berries in here as well, but for me, this is a rose and raspberry scent. And actually, it reminds me of something. When I was a little kid, we used to have these, um, you know, they had, like, shower gels and creams and, like, bath soaks, all of those kinds of things. And one of them was a rose raspberry scent. And I specifically remember this, like, you know, pink tube of that um, body cream or kid cream and it smelled very similar to this one now what i just said about baths i think overall like this would be like it also gives me the vibe of like a you know like ultra luxurious bath oil that kind of scent i know that i'm describing it in a like quite a few different ways but really like a luxurious bath oil is like in the beginning fruity playful rose and then afterwards like right now I'm starting to get sweetness, which I've really, really loved this fragrance. You guys know that I like rose in general, but this one was definitely a like more youthful and playful rose than a lot of them can be. And also this has none of the edginess that rose can sometimes have. So the fruits and the sweetness balances out perfectly and it's kind of like a red rose and berry dessert. 
as well. So I've really, really liked Meliora. I think out of all of them, this one is probably the one that I would say is the youngest. Um, and least like you know sophisticated elegant everything that I've said before this one really it's kind of sticks out in the other way so yeah if you feel like you're not into those like ultra mature ultra elegant ones then maybe the like more playful Meliora is for you now we're going to be talking about my other top favorite and that is Safanad and I have to say, I've went through a phase where I was not super into Orange Blossom. I feel like Orange Blossom can, you know, it can draw very ambery. It, for me, also could draw like very headachey in a sense. Um, so I wasn't ultra excited about trying this. I was just like, okay, let's try it so that we have the full view. But, oh my god, guys. Now, Safanad is so beautiful, so elegant so sophisticated of an orange blossom. Um, I've read later that this has pear in it as well, so it does not only have orange blossom, but it has actual orange and it has pear. So it's, you know, it's really balanced. It's really smoothed out. Um, it's not just the orange blossom. And this also has ylang ylang, which usually like lifts every fragrance a little bit and just gives it more of like an, you know, like outgoing, uplifting kind of vibe. So ylang ylang, pear, all of that together makes Safanad so incredible. It has amber and vanilla as base notes and I would say that this is a fragrance that when I was wearing this I smelled it around me the whole time that I was wearing it and um, again to like kind of paint you an image of those fragrances and like paint you a scent image. I imagine this on someone that has perfectly styled hair, has is wearing you know like simple clothing but very, very elegant, like perfectly fitted, probably, you know, custom made in, you know, like beige, ivory kind of colors. Um, that's really the image that I get from this one. It is a fragrance that makes you smell so, so put together. And it's just, again, like perfectly elegant and sophisticated. So even though it is very, very different from the Meliora, those two were my absolute favorites. And uh, I honestly, I never expected Safanad, which is an orange blossom, to be one of my favorites because Orange Blossom has very seldom made it into my absolute favorites. But this one, guys, it is so well done. And now, I'm not sure if I even showed you this in the beginning, but the fragrances that I was trying out came from this little sample kit. So you open it, you have a little, oh, this is the wrong way around, but you have a little booklet that describes the fragrances and then you have the five samples. And also when you order this, because um, you guys probably have missed this fragrance so far, if you know a little bit about the brand, um, you also get a sample of Cassili, and that one will be the last one we're going to be reviewing today. Now, Cassili again, is a little bit different from the other ones, because this opens with this, you know, very juicy and sweet apricot scent, which, again, this is like so, so fruity that I was really, really surprised when I first smelled this. Now, the apricot scent on me stays for ages. Um, it really, really stays on a long time. It says that this has like some wooden notes as well, but for me, really, I get like sweet, juicy apricot, and that is the fragrance for me. Now, I have to say, I don't have that many fragrances that have apricot, so when I was wearing this, I was really like, almost like feeling kind of weird, because I was like, mm, what is this scent? Like, it's, it's not something that I'm used to at all. Um, it is a very good scent. It is, again, very, very sweet. So I think together with Meliora, this one probably draws the youngest just because they are more, you know, fruity and playful as opposed to this little bit, like, elevated and more sophisticated, which you have in all the other ones. So it is a cute fragrance. I would actually say that this is quite, quite girly. So if you were looking for a present for someone younger, I think Cassili would be a good option because to me it draws very young. Um, again, I have said that I kind of associate Meliora with this um, brand of like baby care that we used to have as little kids. And there was raspberry, but there was also an apricot. And to me, this kind of draws into that apricot as well. This like really sweet, juicy and fruity apricot, which is probably also why I think this is more of a younger fragrance. So guys, that is it on my review from Parfums de Mali. If you have experienced these fragrances, 
Please let me know if you feel the same way about any of them, if you have a completely different experience with any of them. I'm also always very interested to know what you guys think about the fragrances that I review because obviously they can draw different on different skins and like with your body chemistry you can have a very different experience from me. So I'm always always interested in how you guys experience these fragrances so please let me know in the comments. If you liked the video, once again, it would mean the world to me if you give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Also, let me know any requests for other videos that you have. And yeah, that is it, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it and I cannot wait to see you back for my next video. And until then, I hope you have a great day. Bye, guys.